اسمش میخا کلیفنهاوس. شکر مارچه ها هنم. اگس اوی وار اکم آنن کولت نگالیک. اگس هم یه چکس که هنن آنن بان. ها اوی وار اکم آنن آرن گالیک. اگس خوره ایانک آرم. گند خور لطفیم مو فن بیتوفن درخ ارفین گالیک. Hors ich mi er min skrute gegano en a horen ag es hukan op a rauntach is scho mi von Gerimalch von a Helenen is go geltach is galtach na halaba ag es gan oster. Nor a vaj jarad ag gulior akam von jal et a horen galig is an joen alaba nach er an duchur Beethoven fein chomiron kurum chul a hore doi far an chlunyak dunye naga at a known art dweller, a Kelty Connections, on a glassico. Callerum at an art dweller, had trio van Beethoven as an oster, soprano Lorna Anderson, agus tenor Jamie MacDougall a Alapa, and Piper Alapanach Ellen Donnellach a Glenuige, and Piper Germauchach Thomas Zöller, agus an Schenader Marinich Genuich a Oeste Jess. I'm not going to read from the Bible. Fesca maule, do you? Good evening. Good evening, everybody. I would like to take you onto a journey tonight. Although we're in such a wonderful building here in the Macintosh Church in Glasgow, it's always good to be in Glasgow. Let's now travel to the continent, and let's first go to Bonn. And we're in the year 1794. And uh, there's a little palace in Bonn where Joseph Haydn has a stop over on his way from London to Vienna. And he meets young Beethoven. And Beethoven was introduced to Joseph Haydn as his student. And the elector bishop of Cologne agreed to pay for Beethoven, to send him to Vienna to be a student of Haydn. And then Beethoven went to Vienna. He started to compose. He was always in need of money. And then there was that letter in the year 1806. And this is where our story starts. The question is, is that really folk music Beethoven did, or do we have here classical Gallic music? We're starting now with uh, Beethoven and Chantres Weber, and then Rane Glinia Shaw, which is a Pieprach. Thank you. Chantress farewell so oft has decoyed me at the close of the evening through woodlands to roam, where the forest elated with wonder spied me. Seek out the wild scenes he was quitting for home. Farewell and take with thee thy numbers while speaking the language alternate of rapture and woe. Oh, but none some lover whose heart strings are breaking. The pang that I feel at all parting can know. Each joy 
never could double. And when there came sorrow, a pale disappointment to darken my way, what voice was like thine that could sing of tomorrow? Till forgotten the strain was the grief of today, but when friends drove around us in life's weary waning, the grief queen of numbers, the not a switch, nor the gradual estrangement of those yet remaining. The languor of pain and the chillness of age. Once taught me in accents bewailing to sing how a warrior lay stretched on the plain, and a maiden hung o'er him with aid unavailing, and held to his lips the cold goblet in vain, as vain. Enchantments, O oh, queen of wild numbers, to a bird when his reign of his fancy is o'er, and the quick pause of feeling in apathy slumbers. Farewell, then, enchantress, I meet thee no more.
Thank you very much. I was CD Beethoven Beethoven. I was listening to one and I said, well, that's, that's like a Gaelic song I know. And uh, the whole thing started with that song. The first evidence was discovered by this man down there, Ella MacDonald. <laughs> he wrote in his master's thesis, there's a link between Rahan and uh, in Chances Were Well. And I read this link and I said, well, there must be more. <laughs> So, Thompson sent Beethoven a package of songs to Vienna. When they came back with a letter of Beethoven, Mr. Thompson was shocked. That's a letter from the 25th June 1817, Edinburgh Royal Exchange, Monsieur Ludwig van Beethoven, Vienna, Austria. Mon cher Monsieur, I have received your last two packages of national airs and a letter in which you asked for 124 ducats to compose seven overtures. I must tell you that it is absolutely impossible to pay such a price, and I really do not know how to make your proposal. You are so inconsistent concerning the price of your work. <laughs> the arrangements you have sent me are, in my opinion, generally composed in a perfectly delightful style. Nevertheless, some of them are certainly too learned, too bizarre in style. Short, such that I dare not to offer them to the public and consequently cannot make use of them. I request you to redo the violin part of number one and number eight. They are, for the Scottish people, filled with too many notes. <laughs> too difficult for the hand and too remote from the type of song. If you wish to compose an overture, you can generally imitate the Scottish style without introducing anything Scottish as it pleases you. <laughs> so that's our friend George Thompson. And the next song, Movalach in a Kürich Wort in Gaelic, and Sunset in, um, well, the Beethoven version anyway. There's an interesting story about that song. Thompson sent the melodies to Beethoven, and Beethoven would only get the melodies. No lyrics, no title of songs whatsoever. So Beethoven was always complaining, saying, I need to know what to do with these melodies. And then Thompson wrote back and said, no, you're going to compose, and when I get back the melodies, I have Sir Walter Scott and Robert Burns and Joanna Bailey, and they will do it. <laughs> right. So Beethoven started to compose. What he did not know is that he got a melody which goes back to Durchwichgei in the north of Scotland. And there's a link to Rob Down, a Gaelic bard. And in Gaelic, it's Morivin Alin Evin Org. Now, long after Beethoven died, this melody was used by somebody from the same area, and he made that song one of the most, you know, saddest songs about the clearances. Movalach Erna Kürig vor. And we're going to sing both of them for you now. Mo'n 
Ich habe gesagt, dass ich nicht mehr so gut bin. Ich habe gesagt, dass ich nicht mehr so gut bin. Ich habe gesagt, dass ich nicht mehr so gut bin. Ich habe gesagt, dass ich nicht mehr so gut bin. Ich habe gesagt, dass ich nicht mehr so gut bin. Ich habe gesagt, dass ich nicht mehr so gut bin. Ich habe gesagt, dass ich nicht mehr so gut bin. Ich habe gesagt, dass ich nicht mehr so gut bin. Ich habe gesagt, dass ich nicht mehr so gut bin. Ich sage nur noch, wenn ich hier oder was ich in der Horst Kopi. Schöck Gira. Und dann tue ich alle. Und dann tue ich alle, wo es richtig romantisch ist. Romantisch ist es nicht mehr. Ich sage, und dann tue ich alle, wenn man auch gerade weiss, dass man da in der Haus liegt, wenn man hier ist, als ich hier bin, hat das Gerst, ich habe das mit dem Dorn, ich habe das mit dem Dorn, ich kann das in der Schüssel und hier, ich habe das mit dem Dorn, ich habe das mit dem Dorn, ich habe das mit dem Dorn, Gira tacha stila dalu a shaw. Gira, gira. Agus is kushin fadiche du kavilla du i shen. Is kavil marke bier ne pente ne pening duht. Oh. 
As I said, Thomson sent melodies to uh, Beethoven, but just the melodies, and then he had lots of work to do with uh, changing melodies, changing texts, asking people, composing new texts, and so on, but it was always the communication between Thomson and Beethoven about money. Now we have a letter here from uh, Beethoven, and he wrote it to Thomson. Just to honor the Gallic language, I translated that letter. Beethoven into Gaelic. Gesharis Thompson and Donegian Vienna, Neufla Erichet and Geran Ochkiet Jigsagagiak, a Hartschord. Yish Joseph Heidengo, a Svaya Jarabhak, Gundure Kehe Nochtichen, as an Gach Oren Arene. Ach, had a scrive ach erst an a Fiano, as an a Fiele, Gunvia Giano dat erst an Cello as Elle. No the Hicke Gamascha Kozeluch, a scrif Gach Oren as an da Nocht. Well, I don't know if I can get a little bit of 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 a little bit Ludwig van Beethoven. There's one song Beethoven arranged, O Onochrio. And I have checked books of scholars worldwide whether they could provide a translation of that title. They didn't have Gaelic. I only can recommend learn Gaelic as a useful language because O Onochrio is Gaelic and it's the only Beethoven song where we have evidence that there's a link in the title, a link between the Beethoven and the Gaelic song. We have this title, O Onochrio, which means some like, like a lament. Oh, my dear, oh, my God. O Mochrio, Hri could mean, mean Kriya, heart, or Ri, Lord. In the Gaelic Piprach, it's a story about a couple, they're married, and Macintosh and his bride, they want to go back home for the big party. And the bride goes in order to prepare everything, and Macintosh uh, says, well, I'm going to follow you, I just have to change the horse. Then he fell off the horse, and the horse killed him. Now, when the bride heard this, she said, that is too much. In the morning, a virgin. By noon, a bride. In the afternoon, a widow. And they composed that song. And that little piece appears in the Beethoven version as well. So Walter Scott did it in the new composition. So we have a direct link from the story in both songs. So we'll have O Onochrio, and we will have Macintosh Lament, Kua Wichkandarschich.
Beethoven Shechet, a Vorhuch der Weha Kruachal, an a Vienna Sanoster. Agasaun an Savala Alin Shaw, Agar je Kru Fuingelich, go Kjol Klassiker. Kjol a Horstuk Rikluasen, Eigesach, Eorbach. Is dat a fijn aan na hele kaar a gemoren nietjer? Ik ben hard gelaten. Wel, hou brein me geen doorlogs voor de wel doorlogs laten voor de wel een kerel door de aardje kwaad en haar en de kloosen. Vuur en een nieuw toy. Ik heb je rood natra gehad. Je rood natra, ik zeg. Je rood bel en laten. Charles mag komen. Schrijven ko ko. Do you mean Hayden as Beethoven? Is on is on. Is there a track? Ella Chorale track. Classical. Sure. Hanel Frickers. I can't remember. Because on the whole, this is the only is is so. The only man man Beethoven. I guess because a lot of you. No, the old piece cool. Had had gar a good comfort. No, had gar. Had the general to nil it is. I can say can now. Haro haro not my copyright down no. Haro haro. Do you work in and and write it a marvel to know it? Well, well, how does it smack the get the script it? No, then he ha the foot is just a leg, a fis, a root to hack a river. I guess no, the new cream is a gelish. The shit, but the hat and the garlic, how took you in fat a warach? Is that?
Rona Blian ich in Aunsa Romit Rang, Raunsuch, Chiam je kiert in Jalavan an an Tasklan Skoljolisch na Halapa. Hab behemme Geld doch, kis nan Jelan er Achrach Gumor. Ah, a gingen schen, wa koya den er schaun Jalavan na Hutschukon, us an durches, as an du jährisch na Horen, a Huckschen. Ich habe mich gefragt, ob ich mich gefragt habe, 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 It was very difficult to work in Europe in those days. The continent in Britain, you know, they had no relationship whatsoever during the Napoleon blockade. <laughs> no, I'm going not to mention the B word tonight. <laughs> But let's say this is a European project between Scotland, Germany and Austria. And we love to be here. Thompson, he had all these difficulties. Sometimes, you see, he was waiting for letters, but he couldn't mail the letter from Vienna straight to Edinburgh. It has to go through Stockholm first. Or some would go through Malta, and then through the Mediterranean with a ship, going up to Scotland somewhere in an island, and then would eventually come to Edinburgh. Sometimes, compositions were lost. 
And then Thompson was always complaining it was too difficult and Beethoven had to redo them. But Thompson, by Opa Elle Ecke, was er so a hard and a kleine Kukujok. As it was in the work, we were a hard and fatero, simply, salachan and doi, and fachlen, fein, harit frekrach itjer. So much in the work, we were a hard and glan, and barenassen, as we were a hard and kjol, all the day. Nashenta, a gruwelijk. Rutigen good two uur, I guess, Shinavaya Fierchens. And he wrote this in the year 1820. The practical part of the work was, to the editor, a subject of most difficult consideration. For although a considerable portion of the heirs had long been united to unexceptionable songs, yet a far greater number stood matched with songs of such silly, vulgar, or indelicate character as could no longer be sung in decent society <laughs> or amongst persons of good taste. And it became necessary in order to preserve those beautiful melodies to rid them of their coarse metrical associates and to get them matched with others more congenial to their nature and worthy to their beauty. It was under a similar impression with respect to the poetry that the editor undertook its revisal and purification. So what he did is he never mentioned Gaelic. When Robert Burns was working on the Scots Musical Museum, that great collection of 600 Scotch songs, he would write to Thompson, that's a Gaelic song and there's a connection to Sutherland, to the islands and so on. All that was never mentioned by George Thompson. He wanted to create something new, national music as he called it, on the best paper, the best composers, and so on. And it all failed. <laughs> because, you know, people in Scotland said, although we don't like that, you know, stuff from, from Austria, we have our folk songs, we would like them. People on the continent said, well, it's nice, but it's not really a Beethoven composition, you know, it's folk music. Mm -hmm. So they ended up somewhere in between, but that makes them interesting. In Beethovens Phasen, das fällt ja in seine reifste Schaffensphase eigentlich, ja, weil es umfasst mehr als elf Jahre, so viel ich weiß, diese Tätigkeit für mhm. Thompson, mhm. weil da können wir einfach auch als Trio unsere kammermusikalischen yeah. Erfahrungen einbringen. Yeah. Und es ist überhaupt, es ist ja Kammermusik im besten Sinn. Mhm. Das ist jetzt nicht Liedbegleitung, was wir da machen, sondern yeah. das ist Kammermusik mit Sängern. Und mhm. das ist eben auch sehr schön für uns. Mhm. Ja. Oh, so soft thy vows, Willie, or would not like me be proud? Sweet lark with thy sorry echoing song, come down from thy rosy cloud. Come down to thy nest and tear thy mate, but tear thy mate alone. Oh, sing a maid whose head of love is very and right as thy own. Und dann dachten wir uns, diese Volkslied-Bearbeitungen sind Raritäten, werden eigentlich überhaupt nicht mit Beethoven in Verbindung gebracht. Das ja. weiß kaum einer. Also ne? fast niemand weiß, dass Beethoven 179 von diesen Songs bearbeitet ja. hat. Ja, eben alle im Auftrag von George Thompson. Und da denkt man immer schon, der ähm, hat schon viel gemacht, aber ihr habt natürlich auch schon andere Sachen gemacht und, und der hat noch viel mehr gemacht. Ja. The next song we're going to do is just a folk song. It's a beautiful little song. Everybody's happy, nobody dies. <laughs> the Gaelic song was composed in Olopool, and it's about somebody who's going to sea on his boat. And he says, OK, I'm going now, but I will be back, and you wait for me. And despite what everybody else says, I love you, and I'll be back. Well, this is Mohalen uh, Gila Stone, and uh, the Beethoven composition of it is low down in the broom. That's another story. Come on. 
is waiting on me for his load and he's an approved that's waiting on me. And speared to an ass of paint. And I said, sign the neighbors, and they cheer me in a mate. But let them say, what must they do? And so in today, for a day, for a whole life that's waiting on me. Waiting on me, my love, he's waiting on me. Before we come to the last song for tonight, I would like to thank everybody here in the church, everybody who made it possible that we could get here. Thank you very much, everybody at Kelty Connections. <laughs> Just finishing off with the last letter of Thompson shortly before he died, and this letter was written on January 1851. It has been a literary task to, of purifying our national songs by removing from a union with the Scottish melodies such songs of a white age as could no longer be sung in good society, and by introducing in their places appropriate and beautiful songs written by Burns, by Sir Walter Scott, or Joanna Bailey, and containing 120 additional songs, purely English, adapted to that number of Scottish melodies, not one song of the 420 being such as could raise a blush in the cheek of the most delicate female. <laughs> the symphonies to such melodies being composed by the very greatest musicians of Germany, the first in Europe, Kleil, Haydn, and Beethoven. Thank you very much. <laughs> Last song, The Maid of Isla. It's a beautiful song in Gaelic. It has two titles. It's Ferchul Han and Hukuf um, Tram it's about drinking, sorry. She ordered a kind of pieper, and it was a 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 From yon cliff that looks on troubled wave and sky, dost thou not see yon little skiff contend with ocean gallantly? Now beating bends the breeze and search, and steeped her leeward deck in foam. Why does she roar an equal heart? O Isla's maid, she seeks her home. Wing gleams through mist and spray against the storm clouds lowering dark as to the rock she wheels her way where clouds are dark and billows rave but to the shelter should she come O cliff exposed to wind and wave O maid of high but is her home A 
as breeze and tide to yonder skiff, thou shalt burst to the sea I bring, and cold as in yon wintry cliff, where sea but closer we ring, ring, yet cold as rock and kind as wave, still I as met of thee I come, for in thy love, or in his grave, let all and all find his home. Oh, 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 oh,